Okay, in this video we're going to be moving rear and front axle, changing the body length and height. So to get started we're going to look over here on the left hand side of your screen. This is your browser window. I'm going to go ahead right here where it says last name and period number. I'm going to click once and I'm going to go ahead and click a second time. I'm go ahead and hit my backspace key. I'm going to type in my last name and period number. Go ahead and hit enter. Now, one thing you're going to notice here on the left is you have a do not edit sketch. As it says, do not open this, do not edit anything on this sketch. We're going to start with the F1 car assembly sketch, and you'll notice if I move off of it, nothing turns red. But the moment I move over that sketch, you can see a lot of things are highlighted. So all those, all that geometry is part of the sketch. So to get started, we're going to right click on F1 car assembly. So right click and select edit sketch. Now you'll know you're in sketch mode because the screen will appear with a grid. Keep in mind whenever you want to save or finish a sketch you click this button here and keep in mind when you do finish a sketch the grid disappears. Do not draw when you do not see the grid. Make sure that you always open or edit a sketch to start to change move or draw objects. So I'm going to go ahead and right click once again on F1 car assembly. Let me select edit sketch. Okay so if you move your mouse wheel inward or outward you can see you can zoom in and zoom out. You'll notice you have these five millimeter grid spaces just like a graph paper. But if I zoom in those grid, the grid becomes much more dense. You can still see the five millimeter grid spaces but you can also see these individual one millimeter grid spaces. This can be very helpful when you're drawing objects. Let me go ahead and select the magnifying glass zoom all. And you'll also notice I have the gap between my wheel and my parts. We call this the wheel well. It's set to two millimeters. We also have this black outline which is representing the outline of your car body. We also have a purple line or pink line. We'll talk a little bit more about this later when we draw the car body. Then we have this green line which is the axle line. This line will always be nine millimeters from the bottom so never change this number. So let's go ahead and start here with your axle location. Now you need to look on your sheet or your drawing to see what you set your rear axle location to. Remember this was measured from the back of the car to the location of the rear axle. To change this number, I'm just going to hover over the number and double click directly on it and type in the number. On my sheet, I wrote down 43 and I'm going to hit the check mark. You'll notice that by clicking on that check mark, you should also see the, both the wheel and wheel well move along with it. I'm going to go ahead and double click on my front axle location. Let me double click on 175 and according to my sheet this number should be 158. Remember you're typing in your numbers from your drawing. Let me hit the green check mark. So now you can see my wheels or axles have moved to the correct location. Another thing you may want to change or need to change, some of you have changed the distance between the wheel and your parts to a number greater than two. Let me go ahead and zoom in. If for some reason you made this gap larger than two millimeters between the wheel and your part, you simply double click on the number. Currently it's set to two. I know some students have set this to three millimeters. Let me hit the green check mark. And you'll notice that the wheel well gets just a little bit larger. I'm gonna go ahead and hit control Z just to bring it back to two millimeters. Okay, let me go ahead and hit the magnifying glass again. Let me zoom all. Next thing I'm going to change is the body length, this number up here. I'm going to double click. According to my drawing, my overall body length is 205, so please type in your number. If it's 210, just leave it. If it's less, do change it. And the last thing I'm going to do over here on the right is change the height of my car body. According to my drawing, it's 45. If it's 50, just leave it, but I'm going to go ahead and change this, so I'm going to double click on 50. Now I'm going to type in 45. So I pretty much have my workspace set up. My wheels or axles are in the correct location. And I also have my body length and height set correctly. 
So let me go ahead and save my drawing. Remember, I have to first hit Finish Sketch. And then I can go ahead and hit the Save button. Go ahead and do that, and then we'll start the next video, and we'll start drawing our parts.